Hello everybody and welcome back to 539 Productions once again. So I'm still continuing out on my graveyard road trip today trying to find really historic, really amazing old graveyards from the 1800s and I've stumbled upon another one out here in the middle of nowhere in a section of country that I've really never traveled in and it's just been an epic day. So many cool things to see. Um, You'll definitely want to check out the whole road trip on my second channel, My Story. I'm putting a lot of the stuff that didn't really fit into 539 Productions on there. So you'll get to see a lot of this road trip that just uh, won't exist here on this channel. So make sure to check that out in the description uh, below. And uh, let's uh, go ahead and get out and see what kind of historic graves we have here. This is really interesting. I this looks like it's actually a really old stone that's been fitted into another stone to uh, preserve it. That's incredible. Never seen anything quite like that. You can see this actually looks like it's been moved. I think um, some of these graves have been relocated here. Such a peaceful place. Just a little graveyard sitting on top of a hill. surprised how many graves are actually here it looked very small from the road and you can kind of see there's a pretty steep hill so it really hides it quite well See how incredible this one looks. The writing has just developed so much contrast over the years with the uh, decay and the different uh, types of uh, moss that have grown on it. kind of shows you that no matter how far you go, no matter where you are, somebody's life was affected by the uh, Civil War. I'm not really sure what these are here. It's way too hard to read them now, but what a setting to be in. Just, uh, I can't get over how beautiful this view is from here.
been an amazing experience. I'm glad that I pulled over. I saw it on the way to my first location. I wanted to make sure to try and come back and uh, find this, and I'm really glad I did. So this is the last row of historic graves here. And then everything else is newer, so I will respectfully decline to film a lot of the newer graves. Um, just because people are still mourning those losses. Wow. Not sure where this flag went exactly. So we'll just give this person a second flag. Nothing wrong with that, right? Thanks to everybody for watching and the support that you've been constantly giving me. It means so much to me. I really love coming out to locations like this. It really puts a focus on uh, what this country has gone through in terms of wars and uh, fighting for freedom. And I uh, like the perspective it puts on everything. So thanks again everybody and uh, I will see you in the next adventure.